So this is a quick demo of Exam Maker and uh, Exam Simulator. They are what the titles say they are. You can make exams and share them on this website called Exam Maker. And then Exam Simulator is an Electron app that uh, you can take the actual tests on. Anyway, so this website, long story short, you can create exams for the Exam Maker or for the Exam Simulator. So uh, you just create an exam. We'll just make a quick example. I'll call it Old School Nintendo. So we'll create an exam. Um, put a description in. Uh, code is like certifications often have these like six, eight, four digit codes. Uh, time limit in minutes. Uh, these are, you know, the real certifications have, uh, you know, one hour, two hour, 90 minute time limit. Uh, passing score, logo, URL. Um, so I got a photo. Right now, um, it's like users have to host their own photos um, for videos and stuff like that. The only thing that's I let people upload is a little photo for their profile. Just because I just obviously this could be expanded in the future to allow users to download. So each exam has like a cover page, and this is how everything works. You have these basically nodes that uh, can either be big text, little text, or an image. And uh, when it's an image, you just put the URL, and if it's text, you put text. So we'll just keep it simple and say. school Nintendo quiz and uh, we won't even mess around too much here we'll just make this one an image paste that link in there and um, we'll just make one question just to show you how it works um, so we'll say I got another photo we can use So we'll say, actually, we'll ask the question soon. We'll say, who are guys in this photo? Add a new an image. Put the URL in. And there's different question types. We'll just keep it with multiple choice to keep it simple. Um, but there's like checkbox, multiple answer, fill in the blank, like a text input. And like a drag and drop ordered list where you uh, maybe like a bunch of chronological events you have to or steps and you have to reorder them by drag and drop. Um, but in this case, we're actually we'll make this a multiple. We'll make this a multiple answer. So because there's two guys in the photo, I'll show you the photo. Uh, I think so. The photo is Mario and Luigi. So we're giving five possible answers. We'll say Mario, uh, Yoshi, Ryu, uh, Luigi, and we need another character. Link. So basically, they'll have to check the correct answer. So you want to mark down which are the correct by checking them here. Um, that way, it tells the whole system what's up. Explanation is optional. Um, that can just be more information about the answer. Um, and it's also a space where eventually users will be able to put notes in the quiz. But anyway, so that's that's a one question task here. Um, so this is a download. We can download it as a JSON file. So we'll just overwrite the old version. 
that I was playing around with before. And now that we have this, we can take um, take this file, and this is the exam simulator here. Um, we can take it to the exam simulator, and um, it comes with a demo exam, but just to show you how we can load in that, we can load in our old school Nintendo, that JSON file, pretty simply, just click it, and it gets loaded in, and um, you see it carries uh, some of that information over with it. But um, there's an old school Nintendo quiz, a photo we put on the front, and start the exam. And there's the question we just created, um, where we have Mario and Luigi. So you can even check the answer in mid-test like that. And it's going to say, yes, we got it correct. And then we're going to end the exam, because it's only a one-question exam. And you get like a little uh, analysis of different stuff about the exam. And this would be like a longer, um, a longer thing. But here, I'll show you what a normal, a normal test might look like. I've got some on the computer here. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is the Oracle database test. So this might be a more realistic version of what this app might be used for. So we've got a 75 question task. You can navigate over here. You can bookmark questions. Uh, so you bookmark a question. It's going to be blue over here. Um, and then you have different photos and, you know, longer, more in-depth questions. Um, just to kind of cycle through some of the stuff, you know, it's going to give you hardcore questions and then you'd, you know, you'd have two hours to complete it. You can access a built-in system calculator if you need it. Um, You can make it so you're only toggling through bookmarked questions. You know, you go through the test and there's like 10 you didn't know. So you have to um, bookmark them or whatever. But um, that's that's pretty much it. Um, definitely, uh, and you can see here, this would be the graph. Like you'd have a whole graph of all the questions and how much time you spend on each question. And then you could look and see, well, I need to study more in that area or whatever. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, check it out. I'm adding new features all the time. I'm going to add a notes feature. Um, and I'm just going to keep building out this app. Um, definitely looking for people to make tests or give some feedback, report bugs. There's even a report bugs button. You can just instantly report a bug like that um, or contribute. There's definitely a lot, especially the, the editor was hard to make. Um, so there's a lot there's a lot that can be done with this app. Um, so, yeah, check it out. Thanks. Yeah.